What's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? It is your girl, Rita, and I am here to do a video for all of you. Thank you for joining me on a, another uh, video uh, at See What Rita's Cooking. I hope today finds you all in a great mood, blessed and highly favored. Now, today's look is brought to you by We Had a Time Last Night, okay? Me and my husband. Now, I think that I told you guys that we are on a, um, this year we will celebrate 30 years of uh, marriage. So this is last night's uh, brows and at last night lash is about to come out. <laughs> but we're going to keep on going. Uh, but yeah, I will insert a picture, some pictures from me and my husband's night. Last night we went to go see Kim, uh, Music Soul Child, and Let Us See. And it was so great. Uh, but we have... Um, decided to uh, try to do 12 um, dates in com com to commemorate our 30th anniversary that's coming up in July. So every month we are trying to do something, just me, him and I together. Um, but for February has been crazy. I could almost get to the 12 just from January to now because we've been doing a lot. My birthday's in February, but let's just get on into it. Um, thank you, like I said, for being here. Go ahead on and give me a thumbs up for this video. I would have very much appreciated it. It keeps me relevant in YouTube world. And let's just get down to it. Today, you guys, I am making a beef enchilada casserole. Now, I have done a lot of things already um, off off the camera because I'm going to try to keep this as uh, short as I can. Uh, I've already made my beef, but I'm going to tell you guys what I'm going to be doing because at the end of the day, you guys, this is a cooking tutorial channel and I love to show people what I'm doing. I'm not in a rush when I come on here and, and I would hope that if you're looking for a recipe, you wouldn't be in a rush, that you would want to learn how somebody is doing something. So this is going to take us a few minutes, but we're going to get there, okay? So I'm going to put you on pause and I'm going to put you down on the skillet. Now, one thing I wanted to do, you guys, I wanted to make sure that you make a enchilada sauce that's the bomb. That is the main thing for this is that enchilada sauce. And that's why I'm going to be focusing more so on that sauce than anything else. Um, I will show you and tell you what I've done to the other things that are done already. But the sauce is boss on this recipe. Now, this is my skillet where I cooked my beef. I used a pretty good beef. I think it was 73 something. Um, no, it was more than that. 80, 20 or something like that. But this is the pan for that. I'm going to put a fourth of a cup of oil in here okay and then we're gonna be let, let me get my whisk honey because it's all about whisking and actually do i want to use my whisk on my wooden spoon i find that i do better with my wooden spoon than i do with my whisk so what we're going to be doing you guys to this one fourth um cup of oil this is corn oil corn oil that I'm using and um, you can use any oil that you want. I was about to put that in there child. And um, then I'm going to be adding me about three Jethro's of um, flour to this. This is, you know, this is nothing new to you guys. This is a root and we're just going to go right on in here with this root. Now one thing that we're going to be doing you guys is we're going to be staring, staring, staring. So get your good pot pot arm uh, ready for this, okay? We're just going to be staring and staring, okay? Okay? Get all of that. Uh, let all that flour cool down, cool, uh, cook off. I'm going to bring you down just a little bit more. Let's see. Go down, my babies, okay? That's my oven. It's ready. It's on 375, and it's ready to receive my pan, okay, of enchiladas. I'm just going to cook that out, you guys, okay? Now, I decided to do this in a casserole. If you want to roll these out, that will be fine. You can still use this same recipe, okay? Now, what I'm going to be doing, you guys, is I'm going to be using a tablespoon of each one of these seasonings. 
Now, seasonings is personal to you guys. One thing I want you to know is that I have a beef, beef broth. I have a bouillon, a tablespoon of bouillon. I have some water. And I have, what's over there in that? Beef bouillon and beef broth. And then I have water and some seasonings, okay? And I'll tell you about that. But right now, what we're going to be putting in this pan, we're going to be putting some uh, paprika, about a tablespoon of that. We're going to be putting some chili powder, okay? This is gonna, how I'm going to get my beautiful red color, about a tablespoon of that, okay? And then we're going to get the stirring, okay? It's going to get all pretty and red. Stir, stir, stir. Okay. You can also throw you some red pepper flake in here if you would like. It'll be fine, okay? Only thing I want you to do, keep your fire on a medium heat and stir. And I think I want just a little bit more of each one of those. Just another pop, okay? That's just me. I will let you know what seasonings I used. And you can go right on and use what you want and what you don't want, okay? This don't barely coming out. I hate that. When you get over the fire, you just want to show out. You don't want to come out. Okay? To this, I'm going to be adding the, the same amount of cumin. Probably a little bit less because, you know, cumin has its own personality. So, a, a little bit less, but still letting us know that she is at the party some onion powder. That came out a lot. Dang. Some. That was garlic powder. Yeah, I'm talking about cumin. Now this is the cumin. Just a little bit. So we got onion powder. Uh, garlic powder. Cumin. We've got some chili powder. And we've got some uh, paprika. Smoked paprika. Okay. We're going to let this kind of get like, you know, get that little dry crumbly to it. Just keep on staring, y'all. These are just, when you do it like this, you just wake up those seasonings as opposed to putting everything in here and stirring it all in. We're waking up those seasonings, okay? Now, we're going to put us... This is a can of, chi of uh, beef broth. When I'm doing beef enchiladas, I want beef broth. So this is a can of beef broth. Uh, I think it's two cups in there. And then this is a tablespoon of the Nors uh, beef, um, what do you call it? Bouillon, the powder, okay? Just going to put that right in there. going to stir. Pour it in. Stir. Now, I'm taking my time with the sauce because the sauce is going to be everything to your recipe, you guys. This is where um, everything comes together, okay? I'll tell you what I did with my beef. Like I said, I'm going to tell you what I did with my, um, my corn tortillas. I'm going to tell you what I did for everything. I'm not going to not tell you just because I did it off uh, camera, okay? I'm still going to tell you. Okay, so we're going to stir that in, breaking down, making sure we get the lumps out each time in between. We're going to make sure we get those lumps out. And that's why some people use a whisk, but I find that as long as you are stirring, you will get every those lumps out. I don't care what tool you're using. Just put some muscle, muscle into it and you will get it out, okay? I'm going to be putting two cups of water okay and then I'm gonna actually put about two tablespoons of the prepared um, enchilada sauce that comes in the little envelope okay I'm gonna put that in here I'm gonna crank up this fire and I'm going to let this come to a simmer. So <laughs> here we are. So once we get to a roaring boil like this, okay, we're going to add that can of tomato paste, okay? 
this is going to take us to give us a little bit of a some body to this to this sauce you can also make a thicker roux it's left up to you but i'm going to be dunking my corn tortillas in this so i don't want it to be super thick however you don't want to just roll off of your tortillas either okay so we're going to put this whole little small can in here and we're just going to mix it and when it gets mixed and hot we're going to start putting this thing together i'm going to be eating this guys with like i said my canned beans i'm going to be eating it with me some um uh, already pretty much made rice mexican rice some norse mexican rice i think it's taco rice uh that i'm gonna put a little of uh you know seasonings in but not nothing i'm not gonna be doing no cutting or nothing for my beans and i'm not gonna be doing no cutting or nothing for my rice those things are gonna be easy breezy because like i said it is 7 15 on a sunday we have usually eaten and taken off our clothes and are ready for bed by now so this is a late day for me but i i slept until <laughs> three o'clock when my husband called me from work he said what time did you find it what time did you get up because he knew I was gonna be in the bed late and he was right and it felt good my daughter was like I knew you was gonna come around here late I came around there and checked on her gave her her medicine and then I was like do you mind if I go back to sleep you hungry she was like no I can wait for my enchiladas I've been wanting them so I'll wait for the enchiladas okay so here we go we're just gonna let this mix right in here you guys and then we're gonna be Soon as this get all incorporated in, we're gonna start building. So let's get this together. Let me get my space cleaned up and ready so we can start putting our stuff together, okay? Now I'm gonna see if I can pause y'all this time. Okay, you guys, let's slather this bottom of this pan with some of our delicious sauce, okay? Just a good little layer. We don't wanna go wham. Okay, but we do wanna Cover this bottom, right? Now then, watch what I do. I'm gonna do one layer for you guys. I'm gonna finish it off, uh, off camera. But we're just gonna do one layer, okay? So for me, I like to dunk my tortillas in the sauce. Just a little donkey, donkey poo. A little donkey dunk, okay? Just like this. And then I like to drip them off and put them in here, okay? Remember, if you decide to do your corn tortillas in some oil, I mean, it's literally, you guys, 30 seconds per side, okay? Especially if you want to roll your tortillas, you definitely do not want them to get too crispy. Now, because I'm not going to be rolling this, this can be a little stiff, but you can see that they're still pliable. You don't want to go wild with the cooking. You just want to bring that corn taste out and you just want to, you know, take it to another level in your cooking, okay? And that's what we're doing. So my first will be tortilla. Tortilla. Yes, we're going to have us a tortilla. Should have stacked that on top of that a little bit more like that, okay? Yes, I'm using my fingers. You know my motto. Everybody in here that will be eating my food has come out of me or been in me, and they don't mind me using my fingers, okay? And if they do, they can eat elsewhere, okay? Because I do use my hands, okay? I'm sorry, that's me. I'm not sorry because I'm not feeding you, and if it's something that you don't like, it's cool. You know, you're not coming over. So we're good, okay? Then... I'm going to be adding my cheese, a handful, right? I wanted mine to be super cheesy. I think in, in total I have about three uh, cups of cheese, right? I'm going to put me some meat on here. I think I need another spoon, but we're going to try this out, okay? Right on the top of there. Lord, what is going on with my camera? Did I show you guys? I don't know what's happening, you guys. But I started with my seasonings down, my uh, sauce down at the bottom. 
a tortilla covered just like this on both sides, the cheese, meat, and onions. And then I'm gonna be repeating these same uh, techniques all the way. Uh, I don't know what's going on, you guys. I don't know if I'm tired or if it's something really going on with my, with my phone. But um, like I said, we're just gonna be dunking our tortillas in this delicious sauce that we took our time with and that we made. And then we're gonna be layering <clears throat> everything. We should end up with about two layers with our top layer, ending with cheese and onions, okay? And I'll be right back. We're gonna be, like I said, 375 for 45 minutes. Eight, about to be 8.30, y'all, and we ain't eight. <laughs> That's so on me. But you know, sometimes I just gotta not be worried about it. So I didn't even let this sit that long, so I hope it's not terribly runny. I like to let it sit up a little bit, at least about 10 minutes. Now I cooked these about 30, what, 35 minutes. I cooked them uh, 25 minutes uh, covered, and then I took the, the uh, foil off, and I cooked them another 10 minutes covered, okay? So that's what I did. Let's see what we got here. Trying to see if I can make it pretty. I don't think it's gonna come up like I want it to, but if it do, it do, and if it don't, it don't. I want it to be like a little block, but I can already tell that it's not gonna be a block, but baby, would you look at that, baby, would you look at it? Woo, give me a work. Yes, I am paper plating it tonight. I'm good to be on here, you guys. <laughs> I just wanna eat. I've already cleaned up the kitchen and I wanna go to bed. I wanna feed my daughter her food. I wanna eat, me and my husband, look at our show and go to bed. But look at this deliciousness, you guys. I cannot wait. Okay. So we're gonna take a little bite of hers. I'm not gonna eat a lot of hers, but we're just gonna take a little bite. Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this coming together, this time that we spend with each other. God, we ask you will bless this food. Let it be a nourishment to our bodies. Lord, if anybody needs you or praying for anything, God, I ask that you would go into that situation and you bless them. God, thank you for my subbies. Bless their homes, their health, their finances. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Man, now let's give this sucker a little bit of taste. Okay, y'all, I got y'all down pretty low, but that's all. It's enough to eat something. It tastes a little bit of my daughter's. Let's see what it tastes like. Mm -mm -mm. Now, I have some, to some toppings over here. I have uh, some onions, some uh, cilantro, some tomatoes. I have some jalapenos, and I have some sour cream. Um, she didn't want any toppings. She just ready to eat, child. I done stole my child into oblivion. She just want to eat, okay? Ooh, mm, mm, mm. Yep. Baby, I know, dear. I think doing my sauce this way. Let me give me a, a towel, paper towel. It tastes so restaurant style, you guys. It is delicious. Oh my God, I'm not gonna keep on eating. Now mind you, neither one of us have had a bite of food in our mouth out there. Mm, 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 nothing. <laughs> I implore you. Okay, bye. It did it again. I implore you to taste this version of my beef enchilada casserole. I'm going to get out of here. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, and don't forget your food ain't all the way live until it's been retouched. I'll see you guys on the next one when we see what Rita's cooking. Bye, you guys. I love y'all. Try this. You will not be disappointed. It's so good. Okay, let me hush before I go out again. Bye. <laughs>